Have you ever wondered how computer hacking works? How do hackers infiltrate systems and networks, bypassing firewalls and security measures? Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here, where we unravel the mysteries of the digital universe. Today we're going to explore the captivating realm of computer hacking, but before we begin, a small disclaimer. The information we're about to share is intended for educational purposes only. We're here to inform and equip you, not to encourage any illegal activities. Always respect privacy and consent when it comes to cybersecurity. Now what is it that hackers do? They exploit weaknesses in computer systems and networks, gaining unauthorized access. But how do they do it? What tools do they use? And most importantly, how can we defend against these cyber threats? These are the questions we'll be addressing. So buckle up and let's delve into the fascinating world of computer hacking. At its core, hacking is about exploiting weaknesses in computer systems or networks. It's like finding a secret door or hidden passage in a fortress, allowing intruders to sneak in unnoticed. But instead of ancient castles, these fortresses are our computers and the data they hold. Hacking isn't just about raw technical skill, it's also about cunning and deception. One commonly used method is malware, malicious software designed to infiltrate or damage a computer system. These little digital nasties can be hidden in innocent-looking files or even websites, waiting to pounce when you least expect it. Then there's phishing, the art of digital deception. Phishing attacks often come disguised as emails or messages from trusted sources. They lure you into revealing personal information, such as passwords and credit card numbers. It's like a wolf in sheep's clothing. But the wolf is a hacker, and the sheep's clothing is an email from your bank. But hackers aren't just con artists, they're also digital locksmiths. They exploit software vulnerabilities, which are like tiny cracks in a program's defenses. These vulnerabilities could be due to coding errors or oversights, and finding them requires deep knowledge of how software works. And let's not forget about social engineering, the human side of hacking. This involves tricking people into breaking normal security procedures, often by manipulating trust and authority, it's like a high-stakes game of psychological manipulation where the prize is access to sensitive information or systems. Now that we understand the methods, let's explore the tools. But remember, just as a lockpick can be used by both a burglar and a locksmith, these tools can be used for both malicious hacking and ethical hacking. The practice of testing systems for vulnerabilities so they can be fixed. In our next scene, we'll delve into the hacker's toolbox and see what they use to ply their trade. Hackers, particularly ethical hackers, use a variety of tools to test and probe systems. One of the most popular operating systems amongst these tech-savvy individuals is Kali Linux. This open-source software is a treasure trove for those seeking to understand, exploit, and eventually patch vulnerabilities in a system. It's like the Swiss Army knife of cybersecurity, boasting over 350 tools that cover a wide range of hacking techniques. Let's delve a little deeper into some of these tools. First up is Nmap, short for Network Mapper. This powerful tool is used to scan and analyze networks, determining what devices are connected, what services they're running, and what vulnerabilities they might have. It's like a digital detective, sleuthing out potential weak spots in a system's defenses. Next up on our tour of Kali Linux's arsenal is Aircrack Ung. This tool targets wireless networks, testing their security measures. It can crack Wi-Fi passwords and monitor network traffic, making it a valuable tool for both hackers and those seeking to defend their wireless networks. Last, but certainly not least, we have Metasploit. This robust framework is designed to find and exploit software vulnerabilities. It's a bit like a locksmith's kit for the digital world, finding the weak points in a system's security and using them to gain access. Understanding these tools not only helps us grasp how hacking works, but also how we can defend against it. After all, in order to protect a system effectively, one must first understand the methods used to attack it. It's a bit like studying the playbook of an opposing football team. You learn their strategies, their tricks, their favorite moves, and then use that knowledge to build a stronger defense. So there you have it, a brief look at some of the tools of the trade. Remember, hacking isn't about causing harm or chaos. It's about understanding systems, finding their weaknesses, and ultimately making them stronger and more secure. In the digital universe, knowledge truly is power. 
The more we understand about the methods and tools hackers employ, the better we can protect ourselves and our digital assets. It's not just about knowing what a phishing email looks like, or understanding that a strange link in a text message could lead to malware. It's about comprehending the larger picture, the intricate web of digital threats that exist in our interconnected world. Being informed about these threats is a shield, a means of defense in a landscape that is constantly evolving, where new vulnerabilities are discovered every day. However, it's crucial to remember that we should always use this knowledge responsibly. It's not a weapon to wield against others, but a tool for safeguarding our digital world. As we journey through this cyber universe, let's make a pact. Let's use our knowledge for good, to protect and secure, rather than exploit and harm. Stay informed, stay secure, and always use technology responsibly. As we conclude our journey into the world of computer hacking, let's take a moment to revisit what we've learned. We've unraveled the basics of computers, explored the dark alleys of hacking, and even peeked into the hacker's toolbox. From malware and phishing to exploiting software vulnerabilities, we've seen how hackers can infiltrate systems. We've also looked at Kali Linux and its impressive suite of over 350 tools designed for hacking and penetration testing. Remember, the first line of defense against hacking is understanding. By learning how these tools and techniques work, we can better protect our digital world. Here at Cyber World YT, we believe in empowering you with knowledge to stay secure in an increasingly digital world. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel for more cybersecurity content. Until next time, keep your data safe and your network secure.